Can the SCAR rifle get any better than it already is? Well, today we're gonna to talk about a product that may do just that. Let's check it out. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Midwest Gunworks. And today we have a video on something that may just improve your SCAR rifle. As many of you know, the SCAR rifle is a piston-driven system, and the center of that system is the gas regulator. So today we're gonna to be talking about the KNS Discarder Gas Regulator. So what is this? Well, the KNS Discarder is a gas regulator that can be adjusted on the fly. Did I mention 13 settings? That's right, the Discarder has 13 different settings that you can adjust on the fly just by hand. So how does this work? Well, this works because there is a hole on the regulator. So when you're on zero on the regulator, this is allowing the most gas bleed off to release. So that hole is the most exposed. As you crank this gas regulator up, when let's just say you get all the way to 13, then it is fully closed, allowing more gas to go back down the piston into the firearm, working your bolt and allowing your gun to work more quickly and a lot more violently in some situations. So what does this fix? Well, this is going to allow you to tune your SCAR rifle. Let's just say as you shoot it right now, there is a lot of recoil and well, now you're throwing a suppressor on and there's a lot of gas blowback. Uh, it's pretty violent. So you want to adjust the gas. Well, the discarder regulator is going to allow you to do that on the fly and tune for your specific application. So let's just say on the discarder, you are running a seven with a two millimeter gas control screw. Now you toss on a suppressor. The suppressor is going to allow a lot more back pressure, so you turn it down. What does this do? This allows less recoil, less muzzle rise, and less wear and tear on your rifle. This is going to not only make shooting the rifle more enjoyable, it's going to extend the life of your firearm. So today we're going to head to the range. We're going to install this on our short SCAR 16, and we're going to test out how it runs unsuppressed and suppressed and see on different settings how the firearm reacts. All right, so now I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to install the KNS discarder. So as always, we wanna make sure our firearm is completely unloaded. We're going to work on the front gas block and the regulator. So your regulator is held in by this little detent right here, which is captured by a pin, so you don't have to worry about launching that across the room. We're going to just push in on this detent, and when we do that, we can turn the regulator. As I'm holding the gun, I'm going uh, clockwise. If you're looking at the gun, no, I'm backwards. Going this way, it's counterclockwise. Looking at the gun, it's going to be clockwise. So then what we're going to do after we get that out is now you can see your gas control screw. And this is a good time um, that you can change that out if you're needing to. I have the two millimeter gas control screw in here. Then I'm going to take my discarder, push this on the front, start to twist it. I'm going to push in on this detent and it snaps in. That's it, that's simple. I can change it out in the field, you know, with the tip of a bullet or something. It's very, very easy um, to change it out. And now we can make our adjustments by hand. All right, guys, we are at the range and we are going to be testing the KNS discarder. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is testing out how it runs unsuppressed. Then we're going to be tossing our can on and seeing how it differs to suppressed. You may be thinking, where's your flash hider muzzle brake? Well, I'm running a threat protector so that I can go from unsuppressed to suppressed quickly. Um, I generally only run suppressed anymore because let's be honest, it's an absolute game changer. 
So this is going to allow me to shoot unsuppressed and then switch to suppressed and see how it changes. So testing before, I know unsuppressed running the two millimeter uh, gas jet screw is a good medium running on seven on the discarder. So I know that I can run on seven and then I'll be able to throw my suppressor on and turn it down and see how that works. So let's shoot some unsuppressed semi-auto and some full auto for fun. Unfortunately, my can is a Dead Air Nomad TI. It is not full auto rated, so I will just be running semi-auto suppressed. Boo, I know, no fun, but we're going to be able to see how the discarder does in different settings, suppressed and unsuppressed. All right, so again, I am running a two millimeter gas jet screw, and I am on the setting of seven on the discarder. So let's see how it runs unsuppressed. All right, so it's super soft shooting, unsuppressed on seven. We know that um, from prior testing, five was not enough. So we went up two settings to allow more gas to come back into the bolt carrier. So we're at seven. So it's about as soft shooting as it's going to be shooting reliably. So let's have some fun now. You'll see how slow that rate of fire is on seven. Now, if we turn it up, it's gonna speed up. So let's talk about how you need to figure out where you wanna be on settings. So the way that you wanna do this is have the correct gas jet that is right in the middle feeding reliably. So after you have your gas jet installed, we're gonna put our discarder at 13. So what that's going to do is allow the most gas to come back. As we shoot, we know that it's feeding reliably. We go down, we start to go down in numbers on the discarder until it doesn't work, until it doesn't feed. It's not picking up that last round. Now, as you're doing this, you wanna have a full magazine because as we know, it is very hard to get those first couple of rounds out, so you wanna be sure that it's picking up those rounds. So testing this out unsuppressed, I know going down at five, it wasn't picking up the round from the magazine. So then I go up two settings. I went up to seven and then I test it, make sure that it is working reliably, that it's ejecting fine. And then if you need to go up a couple more settings to make sure that it's 100% reliable. As we see with the short barrel and full auto, it's very slow. We're not getting a lot of gas, so it slows the rate of fire. I can turn this up and it's going to speed up the bolt carrier and it's going to allow me to have a higher rate of fire. So let's turn this thing up all the way and see how it runs. You can see from just turning this up to the highest setting that it really increases the rate of fire. If I were to put in a 2.5 jet screw, then I know that I'm going to get an even higher rate of fire, but I like this too because I can run suppressed and turn it down. So now I have my Dead Air Nomad TI threaded on. I have the Armageddon gear suppressor cover. These things are awesome. Uh, we have a video going over these and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a short video to come. So now we can test out to see how it works suppressed. I have it at five, which we know it doesn't work on unsuppressed. 
Let's see how it runs suppressed. Wow, that is soft. So now we know that it obviously works suppressed on five. Let's go down and close it all the way and see how it runs. Again, super easy to adjust on the fly. Um, honestly, after all that full auto shooting, the discarder itself hasn't gotten hot, so I can still adjust it by hand. So it still works all the way closed. It is super soft shooting. I may turn it up a little bit to make sure it feeds reliably. It may be a little bit more recoil that way, but I know that it's gonna work. So soft shooting, so soft shooting. All right, so now that we have talked about the discarder, we have shot it, we have tested it, we have put it through its paces, what do I think? Well, I think this is a great option if you're a scar guy, especially if you run a shorter barrel or you run suppressed and unsuppressed sometimes, whatever it may be, you can adjust on the fly. You can have a super, super soft shooting gun while still feeding reliably. You can turn it up a little bit. You can turn it down when you suppress it. It's just a very cool item that's super easy to install for around that $180. I mean, it is a little bit expensive, but you're getting a lot. You've got a $3,000 gun. You probably got a $1,000 suppressor. You got an optic. Spend that little bit of money and get this item so that you can adjust it on the fly, have the softest shooting gun possible, and it still feed reliable for you. I want to give a big thank you to KNS Precision for sending out the discarder, having us test it out, and really put it through its paces. That's when you know a company wants something to work 100% and fix all the kinks. And I can honestly, honestly say, not just because we're going to be carrying it, it works great. It's very easy to install. It's worked every which way that I've wanted it to, and I think it is a great addition if you're a SCAR owner. Now, we don't have these yet on our website. Hopefully, we'll be getting them soon. I will leave a link in the description where you can pick one up. If you guys have any questions or any comments on the discarder from KNS, leave those below. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button and check us out at MidwestGunWorks.com.